This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated October 29th, 2145. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia, and I have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrists back on Earth. Options are quickly dwindling. Approximately 80% of all extraplanar participants exhibit signs of mild neuroses within the first 48 hours after returning from their expeditions. Within 72 hours, 75% of patients exhibit extreme signs of paranoid delusion and violence. We have isolated these cases in hopes of finding the pathogen. As yet, we can find no biological contaminants that would lead to such drastic changes in cognitive processing. It seems that whatever this pathogen is, it attacks higher brain functions and only leaves more basal functions in the lower brain stem. We've witnessed that a high percentage of subjects lose ability for rational thought and communication skills, and then the physical changes become evident. Subjects in this group appear to atrophy. Skin pales, muscles become slack, bone, teeth, and fingernails become almost translucent, veiny sinews of their former selves. I have never seen anything like this in my career. Our observations continue. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated November 1st, 2145. Patient 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, expired today at 1543 of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. This is approximately 110 hours after his return from expeditionary missions. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. Making progress, Marine. He was the last the surviving member of his outfit. Journey. Four other die, squad mates, who also so came back with mind. Private Jensen, expired from injuries suffered on that last mission shortly after his return. Before his death, Private Jensen was heard screaming in both English and other languages. Something about demon hordes feasting on our souls. The other language was later discovered to be Aramaic. Due to security concerns in the area, I've secured some armaments within my office.
you're not one of them. I thought everyone else was gone. I... I was part of this. I helped them. The madness of opening to another dimension. Look, I, I don't... We don't have much time. We let it through. The evil. The protective stabilizer on the portal just failed after Petruger took the device. It, it was an artifact we had found in the ruins. He took it into the portal. And hell followed him out. You have to help me first. I'm going to try to get the teleporter systems running again. The areas are destroyed around us, so it's the only way through this part of the complex. You need to find me a working plasma inducer. It's all I need to get the teleporter working. You can look for it in operations. I have a security clearance. I'll unlock some doors for you. There. We don't have a lot of time. Please hurry. As requested, the following is my initial feedback on my first trip through the portal. Private First Class Frank Cinder, dated October 15th, 2145. I, uh, I don't know exactly where to begin. Obviously, I survived the first trip and feel no worse for the wear. I, I'm not feeling any of the symptoms reported by the others who have gone in before me, but I'm at a point where I'm still trying to process everything. Thankfully, the place looks deserted and devoid of any life, but, uh, the flames and heat and stench of the place, it, it smells of death, decay, and burnt flesh. Tomorrow we're going back in with some of the eggheads, um, science division, to start securing forward positions and we expect to start sending out the mapping droids at the same time. understand what we're doing there or, or, or what we hope to prove. DFC Cinder signing off. Thank <laughs> you.
Warning. Alon systems active. Access denied. Psychosis with speech, motor activity, and thought processes within normal range. Paranoia being the only psychotic element directly evident. Reference interview G8A. Private Steve Jensen, October 18. Alon systems deactivated.
Audio log for Phil Wilson, medical technician, Delta Labs, October 20th, 2145. Uh, today I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. Volunteers are becoming harder and harder to come by, and it isn't difficult to see why. They all come back screaming like loons about demons, pools of blood. I mean, it's real fire and brimstone stuff. At first I wasn't paying much attention, just doing my job, but the last was Robert Clayton. Now, I met him my first day here. This guy chews up rocks and spits out gravel, he's tough as they come. Having to sedate him and drag his drooling body to the isolation room, it's really freaked me out. I'm gonna put in for a transfer as soon as I'm able. It's all there. It'll explain everything. 
get it to someone so this never happens again. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day.